So what we do know is that Marcus Williams will be out for a while. Uh, will that while be the entire season? Hopefully not, but we just don't know yet. He still has to make a decision on if he's going to get surgery or not. And then there will be a timetable of recovery with that entire process. So we're in a wait and see mode with that. Uh, so when the time comes, we'll know. But the Ravens couldn't just wait and see what would happen with them without making a corresponding move. So. Uh, what the Baltimore Ravens did today, uh, they are signing veteran safety Deron Harmon to the practice squad per sources. And this is from Jeremy Fowler. Uh, he said Harmon has played a lot of football with 78 career starts and 86 tackles. Uh, he had two interceptions for the Raiders last year. Uh, and he is insurance for the injured safety Marcus Williams. So uh, a couple of numbers that stood out to me uh, that 78 career starts. So the Baltimore Ravens were like, look, uh, we are one and oh. Uh, we love Marcus Williams, love everything that he brings to the Baltimore Ravens, but right now he can't bring anything to the Baltimore Ravens because he is unfortunately hurt and he'll be out for a while. Who knows how long that'll be? We've heard different stuff from different people, but we just don't know yet. So we'll see when we see. Uh, so Marcus Williams is going to be headed to injury reserve probably today. Uh, hopefully he can come back later on in the season, but we'll see. But what this, what, what number stood out to me was the 78 career starts because the Ravens wanted somebody with experience because they have a lot of options out there, especially at the safety position. They could have just signed anybody, but they wanted somebody who they could rely on just in case. They wanted somebody who has been there and done that. And with Deron Harmon, that's exactly what they're getting, somebody who's been there and done that. Now, while numbers don't tell the entire story, something that I did like when I looked up his stats is the consistency. So with Deron Harmon, he, he going to give you at least like two picks when he plays. He's going to give you at least two picks. So you, look, look, looking at him over the years, of course, uh, Jeremy Fowler mentioned last year uh, that he, he got two interceptions, which he did. In 2021, he played for the Falcons. Guess how many picks he got? Two. Uh, in 2020, he played for the Lions. Guess how many picks he got? Two. Uh, in 2019, he played for the Patriots. Guess how many picks he got? Two. Uh, in, in 2018, he got four. In 2017, he got four. 2016, he got one. 2015, he got three. In 2014, he got one. In 2013, he had two interceptions. So he, if he's out there, he's going to give you something. He's going to give you something. Uh, but another thing that I see um, is just looks like he's a consistent tackler as well. Uh, looks like he's always making tackles uh, because, again, numbers don't, don't tell the whole story. They don't tell if he's, oh, he's a great tackler or not. But the fact that he does have a significant amount of tackles, especially the past three years, 2020, he had 73 tackles. 2021, he had 67 tackles. In 2022, he had 86 tackles. And so I would assume uh, with 2022, he might have got the most playing time. But, again, the numbers don't tell the whole story. So now – uh, what type of impact could he have on the Baltimore Ravens? Well, with him signing to the practice squad, uh, that does allow the Ravens to have him around and sort of test him out. He can go through a test phase. Uh, so he'll come on to the Ravens as a, on the practice squad. So that's less pressure on him, less pressure on them, uh, just in case things don't go well. He's on a practice squad. There is no significant commitment. Now, he is getting paid. He is making some good money because practice squad players, they do make some money, but they can just call him up to the active roster on game days. So they have three call ups that they can do. They can call him up to the active roster on three different game days. But then if they want to call him up for a fourth, they cannot. They'll have to either put him on the, the active roster at that point uh, or they can release him from the practice squad. He can clear waivers and then they can sign him back to the practice squad again, get three more call ups, go through the whole process over again. So. Um, that's less pressure on them because they could be like, you know what? We just signed this guy. We need him to perform. And you hope that he performs right away. Um, but at the same time, if he doesn't, it's like, okay, you can move on, go your separate ways, or just hope that he continues to improve. And we hope for uh, the latter, of course. Now, at the safety position, the Ravens are not, well, they're down and out with Marcus Williams, but they're not done there. Uh, they obviously have Kyle Hamilton, and we did see Kyle Hamilton playing some more center field, uh, the more traditional safety role uh, this past Sunday against the Texans. Uh, so I would expect him to continue to do that some more. Uh, but also Geno Stone. Geno Stone is somebody does not have 78 career starts like Deron Hammond, but, Harmon, but he does have a, a, a decent amount of starts that he's had with the Baltimore Ravens, and he does have a decent amount of experience with the Baltimore Ravens. So Geno Stone is, is no slack. He's no slouch. So with Geno Stone, the thing with him, 
Right, really the only thing in my opinion that's held Geno Stone back from really taking it to that next level has been playing time. It's been an opportunity. Because with Geno Stone, he's been around, but there's always been a veteran that's been there uh, and that's been in front of him, that's been getting the playing time over him. But now, and, and we hate that these are the circumstances this way with Marcus Williams getting hurt, but that's what the circumstances are. Marcus Williams is hurt. So Geno Stone has a real opportunity here to be like, hey, like, I, I can hold this down. So with Deron Harmon, I think that he is just – a just in case type of guy and an insurance type of guy uh good to have around like hey we got a veteran just in case but i don't think they're gonna throw him out there all right Duran, you're gonna be our starter i'm sure he'll probably get called up like even this week against the Bengals, i think he'll get called up uh for the game but i still think it's gonna be geno stone who gets the start geno stone and kyle hamilton especially with geno stone him having the experience not only with the baltimore ravens but with uh, their defense He knows their defense He understands their defense He's been a part of their defense So and, and then with him being a part Having been around And having been a part of their defense He understands the people around him too So that gives him a big advantage Versus Deron Harmon Who is just getting here Which again it's no offense to him He's just getting here Of course he's not going to know a team He's not going to know the defense Like a player that's been here for years uh, Would know them but now he can come in and be a nice depth piece, a nice rotational piece, uh, somebody to fill in when need be. So solid move by the Baltimore Ravens. Again, expect them to put Marcus Williams on injury reserve really any, any second now. Uh, we'll probably get a notification about it around maybe like 4 p.m. Eastern time today because uh, that's usually when transactions are made official at 4 p.m. Eastern time uh, on a business day or really on any given day, really. Uh, so we'll see when that happens. But it sucks. Hopefully when we don't even know how long Marcus Williams is going to be out for yet. That is uh, one of the scariest parts about it. I've seen some people say, oh, it's this day he could be out for the season, which he could be. I've seen some people say, oh, it could be six weeks. I've seen, I've seen a bunch of different stuff. And I'm, I ain't going by any of it till we find out exactly what it is. So as y'all know, when we find out, I'll let y'all know. I, and I know if y'all find out, y'all will let me know. Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate you like crazy. I really do. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single Ravens update. Also, subscribe to our other channel called More Engraving Vid so you don't miss a single NFL update that happens over there. And turn on your notifications there as well. I love you. I appreciate you all supporting because y'all support like crazy. Like crazy. Y'all have a great day. I hope everything is going really good for you. And just like Marcus Williams is... Hopefully not for the whole season, but at least for now, for a while, like John Harbaugh said, we out.